Giza's Wheel. This weapon, if you've played Bloodborne, is clearly an homage to the Whirligig Saw, the DLC weapon. That's one of my favorites. And I am thrilled to see this in the game. Holy shit. Now, the cool thing, aside from the fact that it looks badass, and is, is that it actually has one of the same moves that the Whirligig had in Bloodborne, which is when you hold the left trigger, it does this. Right? So it saw spins, you could walk forward with it and everything. And just like in Bloodborne, that move has insane stagger potential. So I've only tried this on a few enemies so far, but every time, they're essentially just stun locked the entire time. So that move actually uses FP, which is the magic meter, the blue one, obviously. And in Bloodborne, it uses stamina, but regardless, you know, you have your flask, cerulean tears if you need to fill it up or whatever. But this move is amazing. So up here is the, uh, if you've been to this area, it's, um, prison town. It's a pretty rough area, especially early on. I still get my ass kicked here, but this guy around the corner is one of those saw-swinging mechanical monstrosities. So hopefully I don't die here, but I'm going to make an attempt to kill him solely by just holding the left trigger the entire time. And watch. Okay, well, I didn't know the entire time, <laughs> but could you see that? Oh my god. He, he was just standing there. He, he completely... First, I thought he was actually going to follow through with that attack, but clearly I think he got the bleed and that's what staggered him. And then beyond that, he literally was like, it was like a T-pose almost. He was just stuck there, dude. So, really unbelievable move. Let's actually see how it works on... The guy on the staircase across this bridge, and now I'm just curious. So I'm thinking of using this, like, what's the boss potential? Obviously, that's the question. I mean, right now I'm on um, the fire giant. I tried it on him, and it really... I mean, he has so much health that it really didn't do much. You know, I, I don't know how I'm even going to beat that boss, to be honest. I hope at some point there's, like an obvious way to do a shitload of damage, because so far I'm just chipping away little by little, and I'm also on the um, god-devouring serpent boss, and I did get to the second phase of that one, but I haven't obviously used this weapon on him, because you have to use the um, serpent slayer or whatever. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here, so let's just see. Look at that. That guy's not even... That's a pretty, you know, somewhat beefy enemy. He just got stunlocked, dude. And look, I killed both of those guys without even um, depleting the entire FP bar. So, yeah. That move is busted, and I love it. Honestly, it feels more powerful than the Bloodborne one, because even in Bloodborne, a lot of enemies did get stunlocked by that move, but not to the extent. Like, it seems to apply to way more enemies in this game. You know, in Bloodborne, the bigger enemies, it would not just stunlock them like that. But that huge dude with the axes? Are you kidding me? Anyway, that's really what I just wanted to show in this video. I'm definitely going to keep leveling this weapon up. Before this, I was using the... Um, Grafted Blade, which I feel like I haven't watched a lot of other people's videos or streams because I don't want spoilers, but I assume a lot of people found this and were like, holy shit, this is amazing, and it is, particularly because of the Oath of Vengeance uh, skill that it has. It's essentially Godric's rune, but just on the fly. So you use, you just press L2 when you have the weapon on. I'll actually show you that just as a little bonus. Not that it's not too visual of a thing, but still. So, like, I do that, and now all of my stats are plus 5 for 30 seconds. And it, it just uses a little, even the little bit of FP that I had left was enough to activate it. And then, for 30 seconds, you get Godric's Rune, essentially. So if you have Godric's Rune and this, you have plus 10 to every single level. 
and then you could just pop it again after 30 seconds. It's so good for bosses. I was using it on um, uh, Morgoth, the Omen King. And that was one of the hardest fights of my life. That was my previous video, I think. The hardest fight so far in this game and probably any game. Um, anyway, this is mostly to show the wheel off. What am I doing? And to show that, that stagger move and how amazing it is. If I actually find that this is viable for bosses or find an enemy that's like particularly loathsome that it actually is effective on, I'm going to definitely post another video. I'm going to do a few other videos of different topics in this game, but yeah. Thanks for watching and pick this shit up because it is broken and beautiful. Peace.